Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm at Corvette Mike Midwest. And I'm with no stranger to the channel, Bill Kotsum, good to see you. Lou, welcome back. And with that being said, we've got a, not a Corvette this time. No, we've got a uh, muscle car. And which muscle car is this? We have a 1969 Nova SS Hugger Orange. 396 Hugger Orange. So with that being said, I'm gonna get right to the action. So Bill, where do you find a car like this? I mean, who brings this in? Is this consignment or how's this work? Yeah, this is again, another customer of ours that asked us to sell this car for him. He's a Nova guy, he has three of them and he's starting to uh, weed out his collection due to space and things like that. So let's go right to our featured attraction. First of all, the color on the car is Hugger Orange and that's not a normal color for a Nova. So why is this one wearing that color? Because this car is all restored back to original. This is, yeah, a complete 100% nut and bolt original restoration. And the owner, when he ordered this car, wanted Hugger Orange, which only came on Camaros, but you could have a factory special order, an FSO that your dealer would put through at an additional charge and paint it if it was a stock GM color. The thing that denotes that on the documentation is the paint code on the trim tag is a dash dash, which means that when they were doing the body, they didn't know what color it was going to be. And what's amazing to me is if you were back in the day, you had what you call day two Novas, and a day two Nova means as soon as you got a Nova, you usually did something to it. You didn't put these rims on it, you changed them out and put cool Kragers on it or something like that. So I just think that this is great that this owner, first of all, is allowing us to video the car, which is for sale, and you can see this inventory on the website. Bill, what's the website here? www.corvettemikemidwest.com And the fact that people are taking Novas and bringing them back to original is really pretty cool. I remember growing up, there was a guy in the neighborhood named Vito, and Vito loved his Nova. <laughs> he would almost not let us get in with our shoes on. These are a very popular body style among the uh, GM muscle cars. I'm getting a little glare off that, but I just you'll see the the body shape. You can even see the tag on the on the rear spring. Oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! This car has never been judged, but I would suspect that when it does go to judging, it will definitely win a top award. Wow. This car is a show pony. So with that being said, let's take a look at the back. Do you have the keys to the trunk on this one? Yes. Okay. I'll walk around it. Sure. In the black strip, I'll get a little closer because you can see that that's ribbed, and you can see obviously the SS. Boy, be careful putting that key in there. This car's paint is so perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Holy cow! This is a brand new '69 Nova, just like it came out of the factory. Wow, this is a time capsule. Wow. Now transparently, Bill, you know this, but uh, you baited me with this car because you said, Lou, I happen to have a Nova you might like. <laughs> and uh, I didn't remember ever seeing any on your... Well, there's a few Novas on the you channel. Okay. There, there are a few Novas, but I'll tell you, I, I enjoy the Novas when you see them this clean. When you see them this clean. And I think people really appreciate this car. So let's uh, let me make sure I get that. I mean, just look at the the wiring, everything. This yeah, I'm getting a little sun issue, but 
this is just stellar. Just stellar. Wow. All right, let's um, we'll shut that and we'll open this. A sizable door. We've got the uh, vinyl up here. The this vinyl actually baby. had the deluxe trim package. Okay. No way here. Our body by Fisher. Yeah, let's do that. Sure, go ahead. Take that out. It also has the original style mats in it. So we can feature those. And the other thing we haven't said is that it is an automatic car. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me feature this and the grab handle to put it in gear. While I'm down here, I'm going to feature the radio, like so, our SS here, I'll feature the, is there, support? Right in. is there a piece in the center? The middle and the back. Right. Okay, so the middle and the back, we got room in the back seat, the ashtrays. Every mat back here is perfect, even the seat, and the headrest adjuster. Let me show the interior, lock that off, got a generator light there, a clock delete. We believe that to be the original miles. We have owner documentation on this car. 32,672 original miles. Wow. And here's your ashtray. I've just gone back to 1969. The mirror. Let me even show the headliner. Oh, so nice. Wow. And let me not forget this here, which is here. You push out. Those windows do that. And so, okay. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Now, one of the things with the SS is, is we'd have these, uh, Kind of hood ornamentation, kind of fake looking, but uh, similar. The Camaro had that, the Chevelle had that, so I think that was like a signature on the muscle mm -hmm. cars. Yeah. And just a little clean. This is. Where is that it, uh, tag that you were sharing me, sharing with me that had the, the fender tag? Oh, got it. Like okay. The cow pen. The cow That's what we want to get. Over here is where the all right. I'm the, to... the blank blank would be. All right. Where the paint coat is, right next to where it says paint. Got it. All right. Like so. Not all of the out. SS 396s had power front disc brakes. But this is believed to be the original engine with many original parts on this. And even the clamps are right. And, and the smog system is on this car. The smog system? Is it a California car? No, they all had smog, smog systems. The smog pump is below oh, the alternator. Wow. And here's all of the tubing for it, which is usually the first thing people took off back in those days. Wow. Wow. 
anything. But the key things on this uh, that are very expensive are the alternator. This alternator is probably worth $1,000 on the market. The distributor. This one here. Yes. And also the distributor, because they're so rare for this car. And they're, they're correct dated items. In the distributor. Wow. Okay. Um, and, and again, this is a JL code. Uh, you can't see the stamp pad because it's all buried underneath the, mm -hmm. the alternator, but it's a JL code, which is a L78 automatic transmission car. So. Well, people are going to like to hear this one start, so let's hear it. things I want to show you. Please. There's the original keys. Wonderful. And also on the seat belts when they were restored, there's the original date code on the seat belts. So these aren't reproduction. These are the real thing mm. that were restored. Wow. Wow. Where's the, uh, before I forget the Insert with the GM. Wow. I mean, the seats are spectacular. Let me just kind of let people take that in from a distance so you can get that interior like that. What a treat! It's definitely a rare automobile and just. Beautifully I'm even noticing the on the glass. Yeah, stand right there. I can see that there. All date coded. All right. date coded. Our Chevrolet bow tie. <laughs> Bill. Okay, Bill, you had me running today, right? You yes. Me, you, you told me about this one. I ran over. Yes, you did. <laughs> and I hope you're not disappointed. No, I love it. If people, if they like what they see, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can see all the cars. Bill, always a treat. I'll put in the link where people can see your inventory. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thanks for coming, Lou.